Yeah. If you're living under a rock, mm. is this speech is gone? Uh, snippets of that, of or his... if you clipped the cord or cut the cord or whatever, and you couldn't see Golden Globes eh, live. You can go to Twitter. His all of his bits are on there. Yeah. His cold open was scorched mm. fucking earth. Mm. He said, "Look, if you win your little award tonight, come up, thank your God, thank, thank your, your agents. Agent. Let's not talk about anything political cares or cultural. About your views on politics or culture. Yes." Greta Thunberg fuck off. Take your has, and has fuck more off. education than you do at 16 years old. Mm-hmm. Just take your award and fuck off. Mm. Mm. You're not important. Mm. You're a hypocrite. Yes. Went on to say you're a hypocrite. Yeah. Yeah. We've been saying this if for ISIS years. If ISIS had a streaming company, you know you fuckers <laughs> would be calling your agent, right? And lots of bleeping, which I love. Yeah. Because you go like, oh, I had to be there. You know what I mean? It really did feel like his last time hosting because you don't go that hard if you're coming back again. No. I mean, he, he scorched everyone. Because l- let's start with the, the opener, right? Uh, with Felicity Huffman and making the license plate. Perfect. That's when you knew people in the room. She's worked with everybody in town. Yep. William H. Macy is her husband. Yep. He's worked with everybody in town. He's usually a Golden Globe favorite. Yes. Usually there. For movies or or TV. Well, she's won. She's won an Oscar. Been, exactly, but because he's been in TV for what is it, ten freaking seasons now? I, I on think they're Shameless. an eleven on Shameless. So he has been front and center at mm-hmm. any every Golden Globe with her. Yeah. Uh, they weren't there beloved. last night. Beloved. They weren't there last night. Neither of them were nominated. Mm-hmm. She uh, was serving a little a little prison sentence, so kind of it was kind of hard for her to to take on a, a movie this year. Sure, I mean, it was 10 days, but... Maybe um, next year. Yeah, but that process with the feds and all that stuff, like, that was a long six, court, six, seven months to get to that, right? She was smart to be like, I'm guilty. Like, let's just get this move, over with. Move, yeah. Because the uh, the other one, the other little jingling, dum-dum. Yeah, she's still in this. She is still in this. It's going to be I a mean, trial. I mean, court date pushing. They just keep pushing yeah. the court date. You know how this goes. Countersuing, suing, lawyers. Like, she's prolonging this yeah yeah you're talking about aunt becky yeah aunt becky aunt becky aunt becky's still she's still fighting it i don't know how rich her husband is but he's got to be because this is a million this is a couple million in law uh, legal fees yes so uh she was not there last night smart that was his first no reason for her to be there but target no 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 but felicity huffman Oh, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, Aunt Becky's not going to be there, but Felicity Huffman Ever was not again. there. Ever uh, again. Well. Ever again. I mean, come I will on. Not the bet fall against from Grace. Aunt Becky. Still holds strong. She still holds strong. She's still doing it. Good luck. That was the first joke, right? And then you knew you were like, all right, I can, I can warm up. I can get into this. Yeah, I can dip like, a toe okay, into the water. Gonna, you know, we're going to talk about Felicity Huffman's prison sentence. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. And then he goes for the jugular with Oof. everything you do. You're a fucking hypocrite. Uh, the the Apple line with Tim Cook in the room. Tim Cook was there. Right. President of Apple. Right. Was in the room. Uh-huh. Netflix president was in the room. Uh-huh. Bezos, president of Amazon, in the room. Right. All of you fuckers, he said, uh, are, are buying goods, taking money from people working in sweatshops in China. I think he didn't say Netflix in that, but just carry on. Yeah, all of them. Any Why? streaming service, he because said. Because he's on Netflix. It, well, I don't know that Netflix has any China. In, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even think Netflix is allowed in China right now, to be honest with you. Right. I, I, yeah. Either way. I think he was talking about Bezos. He was talking about Tim Cook. Yeah. He was talking about... Tim Cook was just like stone-faced. I mean, yeah. Hey. I saw... You can't avoid that. No. Like, you know what you're doing. And by the way... Everything that we said on the show for three years literally happened in this speech where it was like, man, you know all this money is dirty. You know Weinstein, who he is, what he's done, all of that for Epstein. years and years and years. Epstein, Weinstein. all of it. I mean, he went after everything. Yeah, and for you to sit there and give political opinions on shit when it's like, man, you're protecting pedophiles, rapists, you're taking dirty money, all of that shit, like you're not better than everyone else. No. Um, and it was absolutely perfect. amazing to see. Mm-hmm. I at one point I thought that they had 
booted him off the show because he disappeared for like right. And then it was the forty-five announcer minutes where he usually comes out mm -hmm. and kind of announces the announcers. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Um, and that he he seems so pissed towards the end <laughs> that I bet he was just like, I'm not doing that. Like I'm not going out just to present a presenter. That's fucking retarded. Oh. I mean, he was so over it. And Epstein didn't kill himself. And it was like, sorry, that's your buddy. And you were you had to take your own plane tonight. It was a great joke because it was like, oh, I forget how he started it. It's the best. But ended it with just like Epstein didn't kill himself. And the, the beauty of it is after, oh, after he, something was going into a season two. Yeah. And so obviously, you know, he didn't kill himself just like Epstein. Hey, I didn't do it. You guys did it. I didn't do it. Right. Like, it was his own show. Yeah, that's going into season two. But the beauty of all of this is it, it really did set the pace initially for the beginning of the night because the first few winners came up there and they were oh, yes. funny, light, cool. Um, and they then, kept it like, hey, this is an award like for doing something so ridiculous and getting paid insane amounts of money for it, right? Yeah. Like, like what I'm always thinking during award shows is what Ricky Gervais made them think so it made them self-conscious in a good way yeah about taking themselves too seriously or taking these awards like everyone just standing up for a performance and you're just like what do you do what do you do 